In this lesson, we'll be talking about families of polynomial functions. So what does it mean for a group of polynomial functions to be part of the same family? Well, we know that they're part of the same family if the zeros are exactly the same. And not only zeros are the same, the orders of the zeros are also the same. So I showed you a graph here. Um, we have, I believe, uh, four, four different functions here, four different polynomial functions, uh, but they're all part of the same family of polynomial functions. So each of these functions, what we say that is a member of the family. Okay, and algebraically, to represent a family of polynomial functions, you'll write the individual factors, um, and then you put the letter, the variable k here. k can be any real number, okay? But we can't let it be zero, of course. Because if you let k equal zero, then you'll have f of x equals zero. So uh, if k is one, that will represent a specific member of the family, or, or two, or three, or four. So every time you let k be a different real number, that it's not zero, then you have a different member of the family. And you'll see something like this uh, on your graph. Okay, so you know what? Let's just practice by uh, writing the equation for a family of polynomial functions. So the zeros are 1, 4, negative 6. I didn't indicate the order, which means that the order is implied to be 1. So f of x equals, we'll use k, uh, x minus 1, x minus 4, x plus 6. Some students like to use a because that's what we use um, in the first uh, chapter, so it's up to you. And we say k can't be 0 and k is a real number. All right, so this represents a family of polynomial functions. Well, and specifically a family of cubic functions. All right, so we can go from a family of cubic functions to a particular member of that family. What you have to do, or what you need, is a point, okay? Some information that allows you to solve for k. So this is very reminiscent of what you did in chapter one when uh, you're given the graph and a point. So, let's see. Okay, so two minus one, two minus four, two plus six, so it's going to be 1, negative 2, and 4. So, you know, I'll, I'll take my time. And that's going to be negative 16. Divide both sides by negative 16. So it's going to be negative 5 eighths. All right. So I solve for k, which will now enable me to solve for the, or write the equation for that particular member of the family of cubic functions. So this lesson is a good break because uh, the previous lessons have been quite um, intense with the algebra. So this is this lays it off a little. We're, we're taking a nice break in the in the unit. So uh, is the equation for the member passing through. Was it two ten passing through Okay. So we'll go from family of functions to the member of the family. And I chose to use g of x represent the member um, because I chose uh, f of x for the family. Um, please try not to use the same uh, letter because it is a little confusing. That's like uh, your brother and your sister and your, and, uh, let's say, and your uncle all have the same name. It's very confusing. There's no need to uh, confuse yourself like that. So just use a different letter. Okay. So, this is a very common question. Uh, so let's tackle this one. Determine a simplified, so what that means is a standard form equation for the cubic function with zeros of uh, 1, 2 plus or minus root 3, and also pass it through the point 218. Okay, so uh, two reasons why this question is very common. Uh, we like to give you zeros, which are uh, rational, 
sorry, irrational numbers like 2 plus root 3 because a lot of students write the incorrect factor. And another thing that this question uh, focuses on is, is the simplifying. Uh, so we'll see there's a shortcut to write this uh, in standard form. Okay, so first let's start with uh, the family. So f of x is equal to k. All right, so now we have a 0 of 1. That one's easy. That means the factor is x minus 1. Okay, so what about 2 plus root 3? So a lot of students, they write x uh, plus 2 plus root 3, but be careful. If the 0 is 2 plus root 3, that means the factor is x minus all of 2 plus root 3. And the other 0 is 2 minus root 3, so it's x minus all of 2 minus root 3. Okay, so you have to generate the factors correctly, otherwise uh, you won't get the right equation. So, let's see. Uh, and you know, for good measure, just for good practice, we'll say k is a real number that's not zero. So what I'm gonna do is just simplify a little. Okay, and from here, before I sub in the point 218, what I wanna do is um, simplify this a little. Okay, we wanna basically put it in the standard form. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to take a look at these two trinomials, x minus 2 minus root 3, x minus 2 plus root 3. Now, you want to expand this, and what you could do is multiply this trinomial by this trinomial, but that's a, uh, there's a lot of steps there. So what we can do is simplify it a little and envision putting these two terms and grouping them to get x minus 2, x minus 2. So if you think of it as x minus 2 minus root 3 times x minus 2 plus root 3, this is a difference of squares, right? a minus b, a plus b. So a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So it's x minus 2 all squared minus root 3 all squared. Oops, squared. So this is a perfect square trinomial. And there we go. And then the next step from here is to multiply this binomial with the trinomial. Not much of a shortcut there, so let's just uh, expand. So this is going to be minus 4x squared minus 1x squared, so it's minus 5x squared. Uh, then we have x here, and then plus 4x, so that's 5x, and negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Beautiful. All right. So you know what? Uh, let's say this is, we go from family to member. So we can use a different function or just uh, stick with f and say f is the member. You know what, let's say f is the member. So f of x is the member of the family, so what's the point? Ah, 218, so 18. And let x equals 2. All right, 2 cubed is 8, and then 2 squared is 4, negative 20, plus 10, minus 1. That's negative 10. Negative 10 plus 7 is uh, negative 3. So negative 3, divide both sides by negative 3, which means k is negative 6. All right. So f of x equals negative 6. x cubed minus 5x squared plus 5x minus 1 which is, in standard form, there we go. So this is the equation in simplified form, or standard form, for the cubic function with zeros of 1 and 2 plus or minus root 3, and pass it to the point 218. 
So basically what we did here is you can envision there's a, this is a, oops, sorry. This is a family of polynomial functions. And you went from family because you, you have the point 218, you're, you're able or capable of solving for the equation for the particular member of that family. Okay. Okay. So. One more. Let's see. Determine equation for the quartic function represented by this graph. So this is very much chapter one. Okay, I could I could have honestly put this on the chapter one test. So f of x equals k uh, x plus two uh, x minus one x minus three x minus five. There's my quartic. All the zeros have an order of one. Sub in the point negative sixty zero. Okay, that's going to be 15, negative 30, which means k is 2. And I'm very thankful for k to be positive because I see n behavior of quadrant 2 to 1, so that gives me a lot of good vibes. So the equation is 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3 times x minus 5. Okay, so very nice, uh, hopefully straightforward lesson. Um, so we're talking about family of polynomial functions and members of that particular family and what it means to be part of the, uh, a family of polynomial functions.